morning. And I hope this is the final morning uh, for the whole restoration, other than a few alterations I have to make once I get the cartridge and the game working. So that's the control panel, that's what it looks like. Um, I'm liking it more every time I come back to it. What I've done is um, I've just used this tool, which is a wrench, and I just I did it on camera. And all I did is come in and just tighten them like this. And just tighten them like this and then hold them in place and prepare for the harness. So, and I cut off the excess uh, vinyl. And again, it's not perfect. I'm not in love with it, but it's doable. Um, next time again, I would actually get, if I get vinyl, I would actually cut it pre I do it. And just do just down here and then cut it off there. Maybe just a little under the lip so you can't see it. And then I would uh, I would just add two or three layers, or maybe just even two, and that's it. Um, so there's no more screw ups. It still looks okay. Like when I when you squeeze the buttons, you have to be careful because when you squeeze it, you're pulling the vinyl. So it comes up a little here, but it's okay. Um, it actually doesn't look too bad. I'll be honest. In the light, it it doesn't look too bad. The the more it's the button layout that. Um, it's the button layout that's not the hottest, but you know what, I I did what I had and uh, I made up for a screw up, so it looks okay. Okay, let's move forward. So the control panel's prepped, I cut the sides. Now, um, what I'm going to do now is I have the, the bolts and everything, and I want to now actually connect the, um, the control panel to here. So I just want to... I'm going to um, use this table here and I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to pretty much, you know, put it on there and mount it. Once that's done, um, like I said, I'm going to take those, the controller, and uh, actually what I'm going to really do is plug in my, where is it, my Street Fighter 1 board to this harness because I have it out here. And then test where the kick and punch is, because I'm thinking about it. If I get the game, or when I get the game, I'm going to have to uh, you know, press player 1 to start. And I have to actually move the joystick around to press the buttons. So um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to connect that and have all the, you know, pretty much all the wires connected. And uh, that's pretty much it. So once we do this part, which is kind of the not hard, but hard part or tedious part of the video, then from there, um, I'm going to put the, contr the, the controller together. And then all we do is pretty much the fun part, which is put the art on, the glass on, um, marquee, turn it on. Hopefully it works. And then from there, uh, we just wait till we get the cartridge, cartridge plug that in. Put the, the bracket on, uh, choose the game, which is going to be Third Strike, but we have all the other Street Fighters, JoJo's Venture, Bizarre Adventure, and that's it, and we're done. Um, yeah, so, let me say, um, I mean, it, it, again, all I'm going to, I won't even really record it, all I'm going to do is um, pretty much plug in that PCB, hopefully it works, <laughs> Uh, anything can happen and then you know pretty much plug in all the um, the wires and see where they go and then we're done alrighty so I'll be back and hopefully the control panel will be on everything's great and we'll start to uh, see what this looks like so just to show you guys what I'm doing I'm just about finished so I've had it just mounted here with the assistance of the table and I'm just putting the screws in um, just like this so Tighten them up real good. We should be good.
So far, so good. As long as it mounts properly. Be okay. Asleep. I'm a little shh. My brother's asleep. I don't want to make too much noise. And now we're inside. And it's still relatively early. As long as the end are really tight, we're good. So, this is the last of the tedious parts, I think. one missing I can't find the bolt and I really don't care whatever so that should be nice and tight as you can see you know again some of the rust comes through with the satin so that's the last time I get that type of um, uh, spray paint but live and learn you know if I ever do another restore which I don't want to uh, maybe not as big as one even like there's there's fun parts I mean I would I would do it again. A lot of the time is filming, actually, because I have to set up the camera and then dump all the files and upload them and whatnot, and that takes a while, but um, I've learned a lot. But uh, we'll talk about this when we're finished. So there's that. So now what I'm going to do is... Uh, hmm... Unplug this... Shoot, because that wire is hanging because it's not long enough. Actually, there should be enough give. No, it won't work. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, this honestly, I won't record. So I'm going to just take that and then mount it here. I have the screws. And one little thing I forgot to do to show you is I had to poke the holes. For the carriage bolts, I forgot that they went there because I'm like, what is going on? So, uh, they look pretty good. Good thing I painted them. It looks, you know, good and, you know, professional. And now I'm going to just kind of screw them in. Now, do I know which one goes where? No, I'm going to leave it for later. I'll do it when I get the game, whatever, I don't care. I'm not going to even bother with the, um, the new game because... It's so finicky, I have to move it down, forget it. I just don't want to do it. Um, and there's too many wires that I haven't really nicely twist tied together. It looks literally like a bird's nest. Look how ugly that looks. Wow, look at all these wires. But, okay, that's fine. So that was just a quick update. <coughs> so what I'm going to do, excuse me. What I'm going to do is uh, screw everything down, plug everything in. Um, as if, you know, that's where I know where they go. Um, make sure I plug everything back in, put, and then I'll put the, uh, well, I'll come back and, um, uh, actually, when we come, when I put this together, I'm going to have to bring the glass and everything else because we're almost ready to go here. So this might take, you know, a good half hour to do, but, you know, I want it done, done correctly. The worst case scenario is, you know, if up is down, is down, is up, I just take these connectors and move them. Because I know that's why there's a lot of loose wires. I I try to lo uh, leave a lot of slack in case. <sighs> and let's hope this works. So, um, you know what? See, when these buttons come up, all these stickers are being elevated. Okay, it is what it is. All right, let's um, let's move forward. So, I'll be back, and uh, hopefully, we'll be done soon. And I just opened my Street Fighter as a reference. Again, more bird's nest. Wow, look at all this stuff. Huh? 
I'm just stuck to my PlayStation 4. Alright guys, I'll see you soon. Okay, so quick update. Um, I actually decided not only, I just did my, I know these are player 1 and 2. I just put one in, uh, there's a loose wire already, I'm like, you know what, until I figure it out where they go, I'll just tape them, kind of just stupid and raw. I put the control uh, controllers in the joysticks, so those are there. So I put those there, uh, makes it look a little more legit, so it's looking better and better. The wiring, I'm not 100% liking it and confident, but hopefully we'll get that done now. So, you know, we've come to it at last. Here's the best part. Um, I'm going to take the black shroud. Now, this is dirty, so I'm going to clean that. And you know what? Maybe I'll... Let me set up the tripod and I'll show you from this angle. Um, after I clean the shroud, I'm gonna that goes around the monitor and show you how uh, we do this. Uh, here's another error. Damn it. So... I go to put this down, and then <laughs> I did this wrong. This shouldn't be here. This has to be under here. So I screwed it wrong. So I have to undo these, put them under, and re-screw everything. I'll be back after I undo this. Always something. All right, guys. So I finally <clears throat> got it on. Now, I, had, I actually put it on again backwards because I just copied what I did here and um, what was happening, I was having a very hard time, I scratched the cabinet um, I had to get bolts, good thing my parents had a couple of big bolts um, and yeah I had to get other bolts because these ones I don't know what went wrong here, the ones that I thought that screwed in were too short so I'm like it's not working, I was getting frustrated so I'm making the hell of it I just got two really strong ones here, got a couple of washers and we're good so next is going to be, I'm going to just clean this up, because it's a little dusty. Oh, it's not good at all. I'm a little limited for space here. I'm going to just get uh, a couple of paper towels, wipe it down. And once I do that, I'm going to set up the tripod. I'm going to show you installing this one by one. And then also taking the new artwork we got and just doing that. So I'm excited. We're just about finished, kind of. And uh, let's do this. So I'll be back momentarily. To it. So I just wiped down the insert, as you can tell. Let's see if I can get this on camera. There's a lot of dirt, especially on the a cardboard insert. Um, so that's now clean. So the way it goes is... This covers all the kind of inner workings of the monitor, or outer workings, I should say. So it fits in just like so. sits like this. I don't know if it's supposed to be tighter against that. So the, this is the piece that pretty much will hold up and it goes in here. So that holds that in. So the black part, it just covers that. That's good. And then, there's the bezel. Now again, the bezel didn't exist, so I took the gal's panic. I painted it. It actually has a nice textured, textured look here. Um, it's in nicely. Now, alright, 
So that's in nicely. What do you guys think? So far okay, I guess, right? Actually, no, this has to go higher because the, the glass has to sit. Okay, so it looks pretty good. Let's look through the camera. Oh, that's better. Sorry if the focus was off. That's it. Now, what we're going to do is, I already scanned the art. I have it here. Now, I ended up getting Funtac because just in case I want to take it off uh, for now, but I'm thinking of doing just like that. I have these laminated, so if I had to remove them in sticks, and then one like that, so that looks kind of cool. So why don't I just put... I remember using this, I think I used that with this at work before. When I was putting up posters or promotional, whatever the hell we were doing. But uh, this is very popular in work in school because it doesn't leave stick marks. So we'll just come in and take a hefty piece. Right, take gum. Too thick. I'll put it here. I'll spread it like this. It's like gum. It actually looks like a piece of uh, gum stick. There. Let's see how this turns out. I've never used this. The worst case, we can double tape it, but I don't want to ruin that. Because I don't want to, one, buy another one. I'm sick of it. And then two... Um, it just works so perfectly. It's actually kind of neat. So, I'm going to put the instruction card here. Oh, wait a minute, because this isn't going to come up, is it? Let's see how it looks. I have to lower the casters because it's too high. For me, anyways, remember, I'm short. Remember, the glass is going to go, so this is going to have to go here. Right at top. Okay, that's good to know. Let me put some in the middle because it's a little uneven. Oh, wow. This one's pretty good. Again, the glass is going to be behind, so and it's a perfect border, so the uh, the laminate creates a nice border. So I know it's even, so I know so that means I'm going to do the same there. So it's, that's straight, it's nice. Let's do the same for the moves. And I'm doing the moves here because usually when you play, you know, you look up for the moves. The moves I'll put, should I just put as low as, should I put them higher? No, I'll put them just like that so they match. It matches exactly where I did the thing. Uh, there we go. That's good. Now, I've already cleaned the glass. I did that and it was very dirty. Considering that, it hasn't been, well, mind you, it hasn't been on for a while, but still really dirty. Okay. That looks nice and neat. Now, I'm going to do this off camera. I'll Actually, you know what? I'm going to, uh, I'm going to quickly clean the glass. Because it's, um, I don't want to waste time, so I'm going to clean the glass. 
I'll, and I'll show you guys uh, putting it up. Just clean the glass, which is a lot dear, dirtier than it looked. A lot dirtier, yeah. So, not too many scratches or anything, which is good. So I'm going to pick this up. And... to get it in there. Try to keep this as clean as I can. Ah, I see streaks. No, I see streaks. Bad streaks. Right there. Oh, whoa, 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 one sec. I know I'm off camera. Let me quickly do this. So once we do this, we should be good as far as everything else. Oh, that's actually like dirt. Not straight. It's like caked on dirt. Okay. Alright. Take two of this. Forget the paper towels. It's becoming a challenge. That's better. Control panel. Couldn't get this off. Oh no, they do come off. One sec. It's you know what it is? Let me get the paper towel. It's the glue and the heat from uh, stickers. kind of sharp. Let's put the control panel on, we're just about done. Got this. What do you guys think? We're not done yet. Oh, I have to shoot, I have to latch. Flipping the latch on the control panel. It's slipping. 
Come on. Try to get the other side to help enforce. so difficult to push down. Whew. All right, so I finally got the latch down. It was, I just had to move it over. And uh, I don't know guys, it's looking pretty good. We got two more elements left. Uh, the side art, which again never existed, but I'm thinking, you know what, let's make it official. Uh, very straightforward. It's a straight-footed three-third strike. I got a high resolution, resolution photo. Went to the printer, they blew it up for me. Five bucks for both of these. The guy was really nice. He um, he was a big video game fan. And when I told him that I had it, he was, he was like, wow, no way. And we actually got talking about video games. And he printed them for me. I'm like, oh my God, sorry, man. I forgot to ask you how much. And he goes to me, just five bucks cash. I'm like, oh, steal. Um, so, can you guys see? You will, yep. So, I think I'm just going boom right there. Right there. Right there. I don't know. What do you think? No, no, no. Right there. So where are we going to measure this? So halfway in the bend. Here. And I'll go around. Right there. So with this, I'm going to... Uh, Where's that thing I used to? So that's what I'm going to do right there. It's a big sticker. So because I have a lot more in the play, I'm going to just take this and uh, I'm going to ask my brother. There we go. Ah, I had it. There we go. Okay. Oh, cool. It actually comes... Oh, this sticker's awesome. It actually comes, like, off in little, like, sections. Okay, so let's do it left to right. So we're going to say halfway. Oh, this is a sick sticker. 
Look, it comes off by itself. It's so convenient. So then you can just do this. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm going to go buy from this guy again. He's so nice and it was how so easy that is. like wants you to do it right. Oh, what a way big difference from yesterday. Look at that, it actually comes off by itself. Sick. Like it wants me to stop. Like it's like, no, you're going to pull it off first. Like, All right. one side. Now, I'm going to do the same on the other side. Obviously, you can't see it, but I think that looks pretty sharp. Um, let me turn this off, and um, I'll show you the end result. Alright, guys, so I just put uh, I just put the second side art out on. <clears throat> it looks good. It looks legit. And uh, the last part is going to be putting on the Lamar key. So let me just quickly unscrew these. I just had these on here so I don't lose them. The game itself, the cartridge that Jeremy did, now it was a long weekend so it took a little longer. Um, yeah. Should be should be good and just finishes up. I know mean, it's not perfect. It's not perfect, but it's it's close. It's close to what I want it to be. Anyways, so pull the uh, down. Uh, all right. Let's see this uh, this customer. Beautiful. So I had it cardboarded like that so it lays down. Oop. Let's put it on. Hopefully this fits. Looks okay. Whoop.
tout le monde. Just cut uneven when the guy did it. Look, that's low. Why does it make sense? I think the, when the guy cut it, it was uneven. I'm going to start cutting this away. Maybe I can find a happy medium here. I think that's going to be as close. Oh uh, yeah! Oh uh, yeah! Let's make sure these that line up. Come on, line up. Now this marquee is a little different than the original because the original one had a little bigger Street Fighter 3 third strike and it had the um, parental advisory on Alex's face, which I didn't like. I thought it was lame. And I have the original marquee, but it's cracked, so I might forget it. This one looks cleaner, it looks done. Let's just tighten these up good. Uh, my power drill, I ah, forget it. I think I'm gonna get one of those hand power drills that Sergio has. They're awesome. They Worked very well. kids. I think we did it. I think it looks damn cool. I think it looks damn damn cool. What do you guys think? Let me move this. This place recording. I don't know guys, what do you think? I think it looks pretty legit. Other than control panel, which is not perfect, but again, it's an easy fix. I'll just undo it. Um, guys, let me just do a walk around. Oh, and look what I put together. One second. I had this printed before, actually, months and months ago. There's the manual. I'll put it up there for now. I'll do a full review of the cabinet another time. But, okay, that's the side, high gloss black, or just gloss black, Street Fighter 3 Thread Strike, neat, Street Fighter 3 Marquee, 
third strike. It's uh, instruction moves to the th third strike. Wow, th third strike in green. There's the moves in green, nice and laminated. Uh, control panel again, not the greatest, I admit. Um, but whatever, we'll work with it for now. Uh, we'll get the bulbs going. Oh, I did got my custom keychain. Now I had this before because I can't find this keychain that this material anymore. So now it's just come to pass, and then this side, which uh, you didn't see, I was off camera. That, and uh, let's do it. So I'm excited. It's not perfect, but it's um, it's almost exactly how I wanted. Less the control pin, unless some of the electronics, which we have to address uh, later on. But you know what? For right now. For right now, and uh, until we continue on top tier, I think I think it looks all right. Now let's plug it in. Now obviously we're gonna get the screen that says you got a boot, but that's fine. Uh, right. Idiot. False alarm. I forgot to plug in the, uh, the harness. I always forget to do this. <clears throat> okay. I was gonna wonder why I didn't dim the lights. Actually, let me close this light. Uh, close the blinds here. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, but whatever. Better I can hear the monitor. Ah, oh, yeah. That's it. Other than the coin lights, what I may, may have to, no, fuck, no, excuse me, no, I don't care, that looks great. Looks legit. Monitor, who knows how that is. What do you guys think? It looks good, huh? I think it looks pretty cool. I say myself. Not mint. Almost. Almost. Um, I think that's going to do it. I think that's going to do it for this restore. Now, again, I'm going to come back and I have to, when I get the game, and hook up all the controllers and wait for Sergio to do the lights maybe some other time and I'll wait for him. But uh, I'm going to take a couple of pictures and send it to him. I think we did it. I think uh, 80%. 10% on the control panel and 10% on the uh, the electronics inside, <clears throat> maybe 70%. 10 on the control panel and 20 on the electronics. Um, I think it looks tight. It looks legit. The green team holding sets it off pretty well. And uh, I think we did it. I think we did it. All right, guys. I'm going to uh, turn this off. Next time you see me, I'm going to be getting the game. We'll do that. But uh, this has been one hell of a project. But we're not done yet, but this is a huge milestone. We're good. Alright guys, what up? Okay, so hopefully this is going to be the last part of this video. Um, or one of the last parts anyways. And let's just get right to it. So in the mail, I just got from Jeremy, or Walls Dog, um, and the Dark Sauce Super Biles, which is the CPS3 fix. It gets rid of the suicide battery. And it has, if not all the games, almost all the CPS3 games. Most importantly, as long as I have the Street Fighter 3 Third Strike and anything extra, it's a bonus. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's get right into it. I just received it. I'm going to do a quick unboxing for the first time. 
Um, I kind of know what to expect, but just to make sure, let me see if we get you guys in camera. So I'm just going to take a knife here. Not kill anyone. That's it. Let me just keep you guys in focus here. Let's see. I'll pick you up in a second. Let me kind of do a pan. There we go. Let's do this. There it is. Okay. So there's the CD ROM. Which again, the CPS3 needs that, so uh, let me just see this. So, CD ROM. It says Darksoft. Darksoft CPS3 Super BIOS Standard. Uh, whatever the hell that says. Yo, Jeremy, if this is your writing, you have a worse writing than I do, and that's bad. <laughs> Hey man, as long as it works, I don't care. And then here's the card itself. So there it is, that's how it comes. Walls Dog Arcade, Dark Soft Super Bias Standard HS2 version. Cool. Now I did, Jeremy gave me the option, he asked me, with your cartridge, do you want a custom label or the original? And I asked him, give me yours. And actually this one looks really cool. This one looks better than the one I've seen online. Look at that. That looks cool. So it's Gil and then the Ku on the left and then Hugo. CPS3 and then it shows standard uh, Darksoft or standard Aegis 2 plus Super BIOS. Alright guys, so this is for all... The, oh, and then something in Japanese. I guess W is his name. What was that? Anyways. Alright guys, so it's pretty straightforward. So what he's... Uh, Jeremy told me is this. He goes, Steve, it's, it's easier than it can be. So that's my cabinet as it lays. That's from, uh, I printed that from John's Arcade website. So John, thank you for that. That's off the uh, Wreck-It Ralph. Again, um, well, I'm going to be doing a full review. I know this looks like shit. I know I'll, I'll address this and what I'm going to do with it. But whew, let's see if this works. So quick thing. My parents are literally on the way from the airport. My wife went to pick them up from Greece. Uh, from the airport, so I don't have a lot of time, so I'm going to just make sure it works, and then I have to do a family thing, and I'll be back, because I do have to wire the, um, I have to wire the control, so I, hopefully it works, let's see what happens, and, uh, you know what, I should be able to go in through the back, you know what, no, because, I need to press, uh, I need to press. Okay, let me set you up and uh, let me set you up and let's do this. You know, let's do it live. Let me just make sure your guys are getting that. So I'm taking, well, two things what we're going to have to do. You know what? Before, I'm wondering if, because I have the original... Second impact that if I put the cartridge, it'll work. Anyways, you know what? We'll do, we'll do that another time. So I'm gonna take this is an original CPS3 second impact cart. All right, so that's the original one of that. Now I'm gonna put in Jeremy's Super BIOS. Alright, that looks 
good. So now I still have to take the CD-ROM out and put this one. So I'm going to put this one in. Oh my god, wait a minute. Now the screen's kind of jumping a bit. And I have to address that because something's up. So it's because I have the original disc for the Street Fighter 3. Um. No, I don't want to change anything. Let me just do it the way Jeremy said. Can you see the screen jumping? I don't like that. I have no choice. I think there's... Uh... Colors look good. I think one of the pods... Anyways, okay. So, let me get behind here. Listen carefully. You know what? I'm going to have to move this. Shoot. Can you guys see that? The good news is it's alive. The screen's jumpy a little, which I remember reading, and I think it's uh, maybe a, a cold solder. Maybe it has to warm up. I don't know. I'm not sure. But the colors look great. So it should be a hard fix as far as I know or remember. So what I'm doing is, you guys know there's a CD-ROM. I'm actually now, I'm behind, I know you can't see me obviously, I'm behind the machine. Reach in and uh, change the CD-ROM. Okay. Interesting, the CD-ROM won't open. Because I've never really, uh... You know what? It doesn't matter. You've inserted a new CD-ROM, rewrite this game. Now we're writing, please wait, do not turn the power off at this time. So this is, play, that's shot one. Now I know it looks jumpy. So I guess here's what's happening. Because I have the original Street Fighter 3 um, CD-ROM, it's now I guess reading from the original one, but the one that Jeremy has has all of them, which makes sense. So just for now, just to make sure it works, hopefully this is working. Now again, this can you guys see how the screen's jumpy? It doesn't show it as well here. The screen's a little jumpy and apparently it could be that maybe it's heating up and it could be like the uh, one of the knobs. Now Now I'm not going to see here. Oh, there we go. So it's going to take, yeah, 45 minutes. So what we'll do is, um, and again, the reason why it's even working like this is because I have the original disc, because I had the original game. So, which means in theory, if this is the one that has all of them, and I have second impact, that means I technically have second impact, which again, I won't jump to conclusions. So with that being said, um, we're going to wait. So I'm going to leave that on. By the time this is done, my parents are probably going to be home, which is worse timing because uh, they're on the way to the airport and it's a busy day in Toronto. So we're going to wait for that. I'll come back and uh, it should be exciting. Let's see if it works. But again, hopefully, it just I wish I had this yesterday so I can just program the buttons. But making this work is the real, the real deal. So um, I'll be back with you guys maybe near 
98% and see what happens. So hopefully the, <laughs> the speakers work. I haven't tested it. So far the monitor is a little jumpy. Can you guys see that? Yeah, it doesn't pick it up that well on the, on the camera. The monitor's jumpy. It's almost like the vertical hold being, uh, has to be like reeve thing. But anyways, who cares? So I'll be back. All right, guys, so we're at 99%. Hopefully this is, so it took 45 minutes. It does take that long. So hopefully we're just about done. And let's see what happens. This is the first time I've seen this. I only have the player one and two set up and shot one, which is like the jab. Here we go. Yes, okay. So now you pick, I'm gonna have these connect. do I? Shit. Why doesn't this recognize? Mary Crew. Update. Thank God. I um, rewired some buttons because it was giving me an issue. Um, I finally got Third Strike loaded on here. I'll do a full review of the cabinet next video of the Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. And uh, yeah, marquee works. Everything looks pretty good. I'm gonna turn it on in a sec. Monitor is a little jumpy. It could be the it needs a cap kit, old capacitors, whatever. Uh, whoop! And what happened? Yeah, old capacitors, uh, but it works, so it doesn't matter. Once it heats up, it doesn't do it as often, which is fine. Uh, control panel looks weak. Again, this is temporary, so this will not stay. I'm gonna. I'll leave it for now. In the next few years, until I get a place, until I. Um, and I, until I figure out what I'm going to do with a control panel, but again, that's fine. The coin lights don't work yet, but I'm going to just I'm going to just directly put it to the 12 uh, volt on the power supply and see if I get anything, and just see if it's not the actual part. Like uh, I locked it, like the actual socket part. Anyways, but I'll do the review. So we're pretty much good. So let me plug this in. Let me just show you guys. Finally, what the hell, what a restore, I tell you. It's not even 100% done. But uh, that's that, marquee light. Again, I'm missing those. There it is. So then I just pick uh, USA for the English text. You can see that's dark soft, so that's good, blah, blah, blah. There it is. So the buttons work, finally. Monitor works, put it on free play, it's working. So, only thing uh, I have left to do, which I'll go in my review, is just the coin lights. And um, eventually I'm gonna change the jam in here because it looks ugly. Like if I open it, it looks like shit, but who cares? It works, for now the project is done. Um, I might just play around with the coin lights one day, but um, right now I'm considering it done. So for now, the restoration's over. Again, just cosmetics I gotta do in the, in the future, in the years to come, not now, I don't care. And uh, that's that, let me show you where the light's off. Ah uh, yes, finally, man, I tell you, what a damn restore, man. What a damn restore, if I've ever had one. So that's pretty much it, guys. And, uh, thanks for staying with me on this restore. I know it's been brutal. I made a lot of mistakes, I learned a lot. Um, man, I tell you, thanks for all your feedback and your patience and your, uh, even the people that were pissed off how bad I was, I don't blame them. I, you know, I felt really stupid and low at times. 
Um, but this is it. Other than, again, some little things, this restore I'm going to consider it done for now. It's not exactly how I want it, but it's way, way better. I'm relieved. I'm going to sleep easy tonight. I am good for now. Thank God. Everything works. The controllers work. And uh, I'm good to go. All right, guys. See, as you can see, the screen's not jumping as much because I've let it warm up. Anyway. All right, guys. So... I, th uh, I thank you again for staying, for sticking with me on this restore. Um, again, we're done for now, and um, look forward to the, re the official review of the cabinet coming probably next. Um, stick with me again. There's only more to come. This was, um, again, a tough endeavor, but we did it together. Thank you again for everyone. It has been a pleasure to again. Thanks for checking out Top Tier. Thanks for your feedback and um, your kindness. Even the people that were a little harsh, I, um, I agree with them. What can I say? So there it is. There's the Street Fighter 3 Third Strike Restore. Complete for now, but I'm going to call it complete because, um, again, we'll do some mods in the years to come, but at this point, who gives a shit? It's been a pleasure. All the best. Peace.